name is I'm Rob Chapman, and I'm ecstatic because my friend here, who is the captain, Lee Anderton from Andertons.co.uk, here at the nether of your screen, that you'll find amazing gear like this Chapman Guitars ML2 from Chapman Guitars. Well, it's pretty exciting because um, we got our our super new guys in Korea to to make us some samples, which you guys saw in an unboxing video that we did a few weeks ago now, maybe even months ago, and we loved them, but we just went. Hmm. Mm. We need to change a few things on here, don't we? Just to, you know, it's nearly perfect, but it's not totally perfect. Yeah. So what do we change? Well, uh, sort of some of the obvious things are quite visual. So we've got ML2 written here. Uh, ML, Monkey Lord, reference to my past as a solo artist, now with my band Dorje, who you can find here. And, <laughs> see what I did there? Plug, we, plug, 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 we've, plug. Uh, <laughs> we've got veneer on the headstock. Yes. We didn't have veneer on the headstock before. It looks really cool. We're going to give you some close-ups so you can take a look at that. On the back of the headstock, a serial number. We've never had that before. No. no. What number's yours? Uh, mine is W120009ML-2. And mine is exactly the same. So clearly they just stamped the same serial. These these are the all samples, it's protos, that's, that's why they're prototypes. Don't give them that impression, Lee. Um, we've got the reveal binding. Yes. So what this is, is it's not traditional binding in the sense of adding a layer of uh, tone destroying plastic to the outside of your beautiful, you know, expensive wooden top. This is literally where they don't stain the outside perimeter area yeah. radius yeah. of the tree wood top. Yeah, it's very, very pretty. Um, this is a, just so you guys know, this is a totally mahogany guitar with just a maple veneer on it. So we're not trying to emulate the sort of classic Les Pauli uh, tonal impact of putting a, a thick maple cap on it. So this is a darker, richer sounding guitar. Basically the same, it's, it should sound uh, very similar to a completely mahogany guitar, uh, but just look kind of more flash. Tell them about the neck and what they've done there. Well, we obviously, we've had a set neck on the ML1 since the very first production run, and, and tonally speaking, that's what we wanted to keep. We want to keep that nice sort of level of resonance that you get from the neck into the body and into the pickups. Um, but Rob and I just, didn't like the gloss finish on the first sample. I mean, a lot of guitars do make necks with gloss finishes that, you know, that's, that are great, you know, Les Pauls and PRSs, but we both are a fan of those kind of necks, particularly after you've had it for a few months and it really starts to kind of get a feel of, of just, you know, that super smooth as the sort of, you, you know, your hand kind of wears it in. So we asked the factory, could you do a set neck, but uh, gloss finish it up to the heel and then let it be completely natural? Um, and it actually, I noticed one of the people commented, they've gone, oh, it's a bolt on neck. And it kind of, it kind of looks, I guess, a bit like it might be a bolt on neck. But, but it it's isn't. absolutely not, no. It's a very, very deep tenon. Mm. This joint goes in quite far down here, so it's, it's almost mm. like a set in, you know. But it, uh, sorry, almost like a set through. Yeah. But it's a neck set in under the humbucking pickup and the neck. Yeah. Um, and like Lee said, on the gloss finish one, I'll give you a close up now so you can see it, we've got beautiful mm. scarfing off where the gloss meets the neck and finishes and becomes satin. And then, and again, when you reach the headstock, again, the back of the headstock is gloss. Yeah. So visually, it's very, very pretty looking still, but from a player's perspective, Rob and I both agreed that... Because we're of, players. Know, that's what you want. And, I, and, I, and, I, and actually, uh, a little bit of detail as well, the see-through black one, uh, which we haven't had a sample before. You guys have probably seen the cherry one and the sunburst one. The see-through black one came through with chrome hardware and Rob just said, you know what look cool on that? He said, I think we should have that smoky kind of nickel-y hardware. So we quickly changed the hardware over. Pablo did that for us and we agree. So the, the Trans Black ML2 now is officially going to come with smoky uh, hardware on it. Yes. Smoky black hardware. The natural and the sunburst are Going to stick with chrome, yes. and I can't remember what did we say on, on the on the. Well, cherry? I think the cherry should go with the smoky black as well. well. You're right, that's Nickel, what we said. Because I, I think it just kind of fits with the dark look. Yeah. Um, so the wiring is correct. Now we have a coil tap uh, on the back tone control, so with a three-way toggle. Um, what else did we change? I don't think we changed. We tried not, not, not to change else. too much, did we? That that pretty much is all we've done. I mean, it says my name on the top, but you can forget that and just put your own name there if you want. Um, it just looks stunning, doesn't it? Yeah. It now, looks absolutely stunning. You might be wondering, we've kept the natural one in the range. Um, now the natural one, we, Rob and I actually both thought it'll probably work out a little bit cheaper than the gloss finish one. And um, We were surprised, weren't we? We'll sell it 
for less. But actually, when, when the factory came back, they said, no, 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 it, it genuinely doesn't really cost any less to make a natural one. Because they're still a finisher, isn't it? Yeah, it's still a finish, but it's, a, it's like a satin, porous type finish. Um, and the same detail again, so basically it's a completely natural neck though this time, so there's no gloss anywhere on the back of the headstock or anything. Uh, satin neck, as we said before. And actually, the reason we decided to keep the natural one in was, was twofold, really. One is it's a different sound. Mm. It does sound a little, uh, well, you'll hear, we'll get Rob to play. There are more high-end frequencies. And also, as well, uh, both Rob and I are big fans of um, the guitar. Uh, Rabir plays, uh, and has played for a long time, a Nuno Betancourt kind of washband. And that's a, a, a natural satin sort of stain finish like this one. And what we both love about Rabir's guitar is that once you've had the thing for a year or two years, all the kind of love and grime and experiences that you've had with your guitar sort of wear into the finish, and it begins to look very unique and personalised down to how you want it to be. It begins to take on your DNA as a player, doesn't it? That's yeah. The thing. So and you that... can do all sorts of awesome finishing things to these. These are kind of a little bit of the blank canvas heritage yeah. that Chapman bought to you almost a year and a half ago. So, so they're going to be the same price as the gloss finish one, but and hopefully what Rob's going to do when he gets home with these is have a little bit of fun, maybe with a, blow I don't torch. know, some, a blowtorch or some hot coals or anything to sort of just speed up that sort of relicking process. My, my own blood. Um, but I think these will be cool. So this is definitely going to appeal to um, uh, a different kind of player. And if so, we just play them unplugged, yeah. you, you'll, you'll hear a difference immediately. Here's me just playing a fat E chord. And here's me. Now, if that comes across on the camera, I hope it does, there's a huge difference. Yeah, this one is a little brighter, I think, yes. isn't it? Um, Much brighter. Uh, not thinner, just mm. brighter sounding. This is thicker sounding. I'm, you know, forever, ever staggered with the quality of the ebony on the fretboard on this. Oh, extra jumbo frets now. Yes. Yeah, we, basically I went, I want bigger frets. Yeah, so they're not, they're not like the ones Rob's got on the Mammoth guitar, don't worry about that, but they right. are a proper jumbo fret now. Yes. So, let's hear Rob play. settings on the amplifier, we'll just go straight over to the natural one. Um, so same player, same plectrum, uh, same I've got to tell camera, I've got, I've got Dave Hollingworth from the famous band Dorje in the back of the room, and he did what I call the Dave nod and smile, which is the, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That kind of look, it's a good look. 
I like that look. So play the same cleaning stuff. I'll play all the same, do. exactly the yeah, same stuff. Exactly the same. Without any... Does that sound different? the sound man had to go home a minute ago so we're just recording this on the uh, camera audio mic so yep. uh, we haven't got the, the amp terribly loud or anything I like kind of like that sometimes because sometimes it gives you just a sound of what it's kind of like in the room yeah so we're not there's no hocus pocus no mics at the cam at the uh, cab cam help me help me I've been shredded to death in the mind by Gus G help, help who me, also said one. that this was help, lovely guitar help me I'll be one you're my only hope you're my only hope this oil bath's going to feel so good <laughs> Just a moment of silence for our brothers who will only ever witness Star Wars through the visionary eyes of Disney. I tried, to, I went the wrong way. You went, I tried yeah. to do a blowjob and uh, stuck it out the other way. Yeah. <laughs> that, an insight into Lee's marital life there, that's, that's, uh, that's good. Talking of which, I think your wife's on the couch there with the, with the, the hat Oh, she on. is, yeah. Hi, yeah. darling. How are you? Yes. Um, so, well... This is a great sounding amplifier. Yeah. By a company called Line 6, who make good amplifiers. Yeah, DT25, we, we like when, that. When Bogner's involved. And, but, these guitars are awesome. Yes. And I'm going to be so proud to rep these on tour with Dorje uh, in March, late Feb. So just weeks. so you guys know, this is it now. No more changes to Patrick the Jean -Jean. ML2. So it's going to come in this cool finish, which is called Trans Black. They start arriving uh, either end of January or beginning of February, and we have deliveries coming pretty much every month after that. Only small deliveries. And so how much do they retail for? These are four forty nine English pounds, including tax, free shipping in the UK. Comes with a gig bag. Um, I don't know what that is in euros. It's going to be about I don't know five hundred euros each yeah. or something like that. We have a special page for American customers on the Andersons website. So if you need to know how much this is in dollars and what the shipping charges are to America and how to place an order for one, go to www.andertons.co.uk forward slash Chapman USA. Yes, um, because we can deliver to the USA or, and Canada. Uh, well, yes, pretty much for $40. $40. That's um, a phenomenal deal for you from Chapman and Andertons back to you again. So Trans Black, which is this one. Natural, which is this one. Antique Sunburst. Antique Sunburst, which you guys can see pictures of on the Andersons website now, but it, it, the pictures we have don't show the reveal binding. So please bear in mind it's going to have reveal binding, but it will have the chrome hardware. And the Cherry, uh, which I think we call see-through black, black Cherry, something yeah. like that. It's a, very, it's a really pretty dark cherry. That will also have this smoky um, dark coloured hardware and the reveal binding, so yeah. it's going to look very sexy. I would challenge you to go off and find a guitar of equal value with the same kinds of spec. Yeah. Ebony fretboard, maple neck, you know, set in construction, yeah. mahogany body, lovely looking veneer. Made in Korea. Made in Korea, Tone Pros hardtail, Grove, Grove tuners, and a tusk nut, yeah. uh, extra jumbo frets. Go and see if you can find something else 
the same value with the same. We don't think you will. I don't think you will. Now, we have another guitar to show you. Today. This is very special. Okay, you might recognize this here guitar because this is the strap that I've played on dozens of videos with Rob. I've had this since I was about 18 years old and it was second hand when I bought it. And um, I love this guitar, but I also loved the Chapman ML1. And it gave me an idea, and it gave me a double idea actually. There's a, there's a story behind this guitar, I don't think I've ever told on video. Um, I bought this uh, as a parts guitar from a customer of Anderton's. Actually, he used to work at Anderton's, but anyway, he was a customer then, uh, years ago. And he was a pro artist, played with a few, uh, played on a few hit sort of pop records and stuff back in the um, 40s, 90s. Uh, and basically, Fender were, were messing around to make him uh, like a custom shop guitar. It wasn't going to be a signature guitar, but it was just going to be a custom shop guitar for him. And he had a mahogany body made for his strats. And that's why strats so bloody heavy. So he had a mahogany body, and they basically put it together for him and bolted on just a regular American standard neck, and uh, they'd routed it out for this HSH configuration. Anyway, the project didn't go anywhere, and he didn't really do anything with them. So he sold me the bits that they'd given him I won't tell you how much you sold them before because it's so little money, you'll be so jealous. But anyway, <laughs> so for like 20 years I've had this great Strat that I got to choose what pickups I had on it, what trim system, everything like that, different machine. And I love this guitar. But because it's a mahogany body Strat and the ML1 is a mahogany body kind of super Strat looking guitar, I thought to myself, you know what we could do for the guys in YouTube land? We could do the first signature model Chapman guitar and it would be for Captain Lee. Yeah. So. This is a sample, and it's, I would say, 80% correct and how it's going to be. What I've asked, at the moment, it has exactly the same pickup configuration that a regular ML1 has, and because it's now route, it's been routed for a scratch plate, the, the switching is identical, but the knobs are in a slightly different position to a regular ML1. So we're going to move this switch down to here, aren't we? Well, I'm going to, you guys might see my guitar, I'm so used to having a neck humbucker on my strap, Try as I kind of might to sort of really fall in love with this guitar, which I have fallen in love with the playing. I just miss having the neck humbucker. So we're going to have this done with an HSH configuration and just going to go back to a regular five-way blade switch like I've got on my strap. Other than that, I'm leaving it the same. So it's going to have this super cool white finish with this unbelievably cool kind of really psychedelic kind of tortoiseshell uh, fake scratch. Oh, I love the white headstock ma matching. The board. matching white headstock. Really cool. I've gone to a rosewood board, and I don't know. I mean, I love the mate. I love the ebony board that's on the Chapman guitars, but but I've always had rosewood boards, so I asked them to do that. It's exactly the same trim on an ML1. We don't have firm pricing on this yet, but I'm, my guess is it's gonna be very similar money to an ML1. So certainly, sort of, hopefully under four hundred pounds. And as soon as I've got kind of fixed pricing and an idea of what the pickups are going to be on here. We'll put this on the Anderton's website and if any of you guys think that looks cool, I quite fancy pre-ordering that. These are going to be a very limited run, probably arriving April time next yeah. year. And we're calling it the CAP 10. Yeah, C-A-P-10. <laughs> it's very cool. Um, so yeah, I love this guitar. So why don't we plug this in? And I, and I think I, we should do. I know it's not going to sound exactly how the finished one sounds, but it's pretty similar. So it's got this kind of innovative. Wait a minute. Just wait for the guy to stop malleting something. <laughs> I think that's what's happening. There's a staff review downstairs. Obviously, the staff has <laughs> failed. So he's had that's to be beaten with mallet. Um, so tonally wise, at the moment, I'll just, although this isn't how my guitar is going to end up being, uh, this is how a regular ML1 is. So the neck position without the coil tap is just a regular single coil. Middle position is both these two coils. I'm going to teach you something here, Rob. Right, you know I keep being abused by certain YouTuber trolls for saying if something's coil tapped or split or in phase or out of phase or da 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 and they go, no it's not, Wikipedia says it's this. Uh. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to find out. So I went to speak to my guitar tech at Anderton's, Gav. Gavin, and I said, Gav, position two and four on a strap picker, I call it out of phase. And somebody told me it's not out of phase. What, what is the deal? Because everybody calls it out of phase. And he in a Scottish accent, I go, he, 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 he. Um, 
So he said, well, strictly speaking, it's not wired out of phase, because if you wired two pickups out of phase, you would get a very thin sounding, unpleasant um, sound. Um, so he then began to draw lots of diagrams and explain to me about the difference between wiring pickups in parallel and pickups in series and things yeah. like that, and what the phasing meant. So a humbucker is two single coils wired in series. So essentially what you're saying is that the sound is going into one and then into the next one yeah. and then out the other side and that gives it a nice fat sound. When you have two single coils wired on a strap, it's wired in parallel and that means that the signal is essentially going to both pick up simultaneously and it sounds a little different to uh, wiring a humbucker in, um, in series. But the phase cancellation, the out of phase thing, occurs because when you hit a string like this, this pickup is picking up the sound of this string at one point in the sine wave, yeah. and this pickup is picking up the string at another point in the sine wave, and what will happen is periodically, as the sine waves are doing this, the strings will go in and out of phase Could with you each other. Could you just do that hand movement again? In and out of phase with each other. Oh. So, so there you go, a little lesson for you there. So when I say out of phase, or when you hear about manufacturers talking about their guitars being wired out of phase, they're not wired out of phase, but the, the fact that you have they two different pickups, they, it, it'll actually be kind of go. I know I keep doing that, but if, you know what a sine wave looks like. So essentially the guitar kind of is sort of out of phase with itself. Anyway, I thought I'd get that straight. So it's taken me 20 years to learn that. So if you've only been playing for like a year and now you know that, you're 19 years clever. Enjoy your free knowledge from <laughs> andertons.co.uk and Chapman Guitars. And if you want to know anything about guitars, Gavin, the guitar tech at Andertons, is amazing. So uh, just come and see him. And he'll go, yeah, give me a lot of your TV. Like that. <laughs> or something, probably. Um, Play some game. Okay, so well, I'll just quickly do that. So we got a, I think the thing is in the wrong position on here as well. We're going to move it? that as well. We're going to move that one. That's so, what pros and buttons are for, though. these and I, and I encourage you to do so because it's a fantastic guitar you also would need to get a stone pick to complete the cat and lee set and there is a company that you sell stone picks from isn't there well bizarrely enough it does appear that i may well actually be setting up a deal with stoneworks again so the stonework mike at stoneworks is is just uber uber busy trying to sell plectrums to everybody in the world and uh, but i have been back in touch with him recently so you never know watch this space to use have a, a very distinctive tone mm. or maybe exactly the same I, I don't know. <laughs> the other thing that I'm going to do um, which will be entirely optional for you guys is I'm going to get some of these little blue man stickers made hold my strap up that's got a blue man sticker I'm going to get some of these stickers made I'm just going to chuck them in the boxes with the uh, ML with well, the cap 10 models 
So if you guys think my blue sticker is cool, you can stick it on. If you think it's yeah. crap, you just throw it in the bin. So this Simple. is the first, I'm very proud to say this is the first signature model from Chapman Guitars. <laughs> we have another three planned for some of them for this year, some of them for next year. So look forward to those. Well, you guys know that the seven string voting has already started. Yes. So if you, if you, if you think seven strings are cool, go and get involved in that vote. Yes, please. Uh, and yeah, a couple more guitars starting, you know, in the new year. It's, it's all very exciting at Chapman Guitars. There's a lot of cha yeah, at Chapman Guitars because Chapman Guitars is basically you and me, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, this is our office. We don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> we have a mobile phone and an internet connection. I like it when people email Chapman Guitars and they expect to get some kind of lovely secretary. It's me. Yeah. And they're like, what? Chappers is answering my email about Chapman Guitars. I get the same. People phone Andertons and I pick up the phone. It's like, you're the guy in the videos, aren't you? Yeah, that's because I work at Andertons. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyway, it's Which cool. banality takes us to the end of the video, I guess. I guess so. So, anyway, these ML2s, don't forget, are ready to order right now. In fact, we've already taken quite a lot of orders for the first shipment. ML1, which is the, the one that you've seen in other videos, that's gone crazy. I think we've sold out maybe the first two months worth of shipments on that at the moment. Wow. So you uh, guys can order ML1s whenever you like. And as I said, the Cap 10, once I get confirmed pricing on that, that'll also be available to special order. Yes. Uh, pick through. I've been Rob Chappers. I've been the captain. Take it easy.